Hi Alice family, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the on the SS, which we had said we were hoping to update today. Um, we are pretty much on track um, from our point of view. So our attorneys had more or less done everything they needed to do. Um, all the, the issuances, resolution documents, all that stuff is done and sitting with the TA. They're basically just waiting to push the button. Um, so that's that's all, you know, been, been relatively positive on track for this Friday today, as we had said. Um, there's only one little thing that needed to be done from our part. One little thing, a couple of hours work was to create a new category of preference shares, an additional one to the one we've already created. It'll become clearer down the future, but basically the idea is that that, that new category of preference is for some of the big block holders to move some of their stock into to lock it up. Um, but more, more information will come out on that you know, in the future. Um, but however, we needed to create it part of this, this reorga reorganization. Um, however, us being on track and being ready, we stumbled upon a, an issue last week, or Friday night last week, um, with the GPL saga. So those of you that aren't familiar, GPL obviously are a funder. Um, they were historically involved with ILIS for the last five, six, seven years, whatever. Um, had a bunch of toxic notes in ILIS, which obviously first the first batches they converted and sold out from under our nose. Um, but anyway, whatever, it's fine, it's been done, nothing we can do about it, no cry crying over spilled milk, they say. However, we negotiated with them and settled the balance of their old notes, all the toxic ones. Um, so that settlement agreement was done a long time ago, um, you know, a few months ago, which we announced to the market. However, connected to the settlement uh, thing is there's the settlement agreement is, they always they had a big chunk of reserves at the TA. So those of you who aren't familiar with what reserves are, is, you have your shares issued and you have your authorized. The gap between the shares issued and the authorized, that gap um, is where reserves can sit. So in other words, when somebody is likely to get shares, you can reserve shares for them. They're not issued, but it means when they come back to get the shares which they might be entitled to, there are shares available for them. So they're called reserves. Um, so GPL obviously had a bunch of reserves, a huge bunch of reserves, which they had in place since their old toxic notes, 2018, 19, whatever. Um, so we had submitted all our stuff to the TA. The reserves are actually oversubscribed, which is what's causing us the headache because there's more reserves than there is stock. It should never have been allowed to happen, but unfortunately the TA allowed it to happen for whatever reason. So let's say the reserves, there's like, I don't know, 800 million shares available um, in between the authorized and the issued, um, but there's like 900 or a, million or a billion worth of reserves. It's never an issue, like it wasn't an issue for us because they're just reserves, they're not like them, they're meaningless at this point. Um, and under the settlement agreement, obviously we had agreed to cancel all those. Um, but obviously it, it made it more sense to do it all in one go. So the TA would be cancelling reserves, moving stock, changing categories, moving my stuff, removing their 40 million shares that's going through legal action. You're kind of doing it all in one go so we end up with one clean picture at the end, boom, nice and simple. However, and that was really the effective date was going to be yesterday and today. That was sort of our planned out closing or completion dates. Um, and obviously, we faced the GPL issue, which we never expected. Um, so we basically at this point, exact point, I mean, it's too early into their issue to us to know really what, you know, where, where we stand on the matter. Um, they obviously can't sign any reserves, you know, reduction of reserves or anything at this point because of what they're going through. Um, our legal counsel is sort of contemplating the options. There's multiple options of ways for us to do it. So we, we're not stuck. We're just stuck to do it today, if that makes sense. You know, it needs to be th thought through. The attorneys need to think about plan A, B, C, D. Um, we need to look at which is the best one. We don't want to create a whole lot of mess, a whole lot of legal fees, a whole lot of admin if we don't need to do it. So we're sort of just waiting for the, the let's say, the mud to settle. Um, or the dust to settle and once we know where we are on that over the next few days we'll be able to just complete our part. The TA already has everything, they literally have everything, it's just a matter of one letter um, releasing those reserves and they can finish their job. Um, so, you know, we actually think there might be, you know, it's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, is that the saying, um, that the GPL scenario may have a positive impact on, on for our business. Um, Obviously, it's, it's stopped any potential selling that they might ever have been able to do. Um, but the point is that they have they have some notes in the business now, which are friendly notes. They're low interest, they're friendly interest, they're two years, they only mature in two years' time, they're repayable, um, they're totally non-toxic terms, you know, they're, they're basically good, good, quality, good quality lending. Um, and we'd expect to repay them within the two years anyway. However, we're unsure what exactly this um, SEC action is likely to have on 
on GPL's assets as a whole. I mean, do SEC have applied for an asset freeze by what we read in the media. Who knows, you know, how much validity there is in that. But obviously we're wondering what sort of impact that's going to have on, on these outstanding notes in our business. We know it's two years away, um, but you know, ultimately you know, we would like to, to report back to the shareholder what, what that's going to mean down the line. Um, now, we, we would anticipate that at least we're probably going to get a moratorium on those notes um, or any, a moratorium on any GPL interaction, um, which I guess you know, has, has a lot of positives for the shareholders. So I'm just kind of just putting that on the table. We, bottom line is we don't know the answers yet. Um, we just don't, certainly don't see anything bad coming out of it for us. We only see an upside for us. Not that we wish you know, ill harm or anything on, any, on anybody. It's, it's not our character. It's not the way we operate. It's not our brand. Um, you know, we don't engage in that type of nonsense. Um, but you know, we do see it as, as an upside for, for the Isla shareholders um, who have taken quite a bit of pain over the whole incident over the last you know, six, seven months. So let's hope there's some light at the end of the tunnel on that one. So, and just to update you on one other one is that the, that 40 million shares that are going through the court action, as I mentioned previously, um, we're going through the court action. We have been unable to serve the defendants. They seem to be missing in action. Just we can't find them, our attorneys can't find them, investigators can't find them, they just seem to be una unable to be located, which is what we expected, which is why we had to go down this route in the first place, um, which now means we're probably going to have to go through uh, a way of publishing, it's a, like a legal process where we publish that this is what the claim is, then they've got so many days to respond, and if they don't, then it's taken as served, and then, excuse the legal terminology, but you get the gist of what I'm trying to tell you, and then we can apply to the court for a default judgment, um, which will then allow us to just remove the shares, um, which will be a whole lot quicker than a court case anyway. So hopefully we are weeks out of it now, not months and months and months. So that's good news. Um, almost sure that that's not that 40 million is not going to come off this SS update that I'm pretty sure of. As much as we would have liked it, it just it's not going to be. Um, but we don't think it's far off anyway. But anyway, as you know, it's just an administration process. So just to update you on that. Um, yeah, so that was just really giving you the update. Um, and just to summarize again, so people don't speculate that the reserves that GPL need to cancel is not because we're issuing more shares. The reserves that they need to cancel is because we are oversubscribed on the reserves, which means there's more shares effectively could be issued than is actually allowed to be issued. So the TA needs that unblocked before they can actually take any action or issuing, moving, transferring anything on our account, um, which was why the GPL was going to do that all at once. Um, you know, hindsight, I probably should have done it at the same time as the settlement, but I also was trying to make sure we were protected um, from any anything else coming through the back door that we hadn't known about, hadn't seen. You know, so it was kind of a protection mechanism, and then we would drop it at the same time as redoing the whole reorganize at the same time. So, you know, we're, we're a little bit stuck with that at the moment, but it doesn't really have that much of a big impact, but we need to know where we stand um, in terms of the timing. So, once we get update from our attorneys early part of next week, we'll be able to decide whether we how exactly we remove those reserves and how we press on to get it all done. We want it done as well. I'm, you know, I think we're all sick and tired of talking about SS and hearing SS all day long every day. I, mean, I think we're all sick and tired of it. So at least, you know, let's get this behind us. Let's get on. Let's move on. At least the trading's been better this week, um, which hopefully will give people some peace of mind. And again, I just repeat ourselves that we've said many times before, this doesn't impact the business. You would have seen our Q2 results. Um, they're pretty good. We're on track. We're doing well. We've got a plan. And, you know, everybody's moving forward at a hell of a pace. So this doesn't really have any impact on anything. It's purely just an administrative process, and I guess it gives everyone peace of mind for whatever that may be. So thank you very much for your time, and um, sorry we're not releasing them today as much as we would have liked to. And um, believe me, nothing more pleases us than pleasing you. But we've done our best, and you know you can expect the update ASAP. Um, we've got meetings with attorneys early part of next week where we will have a clearer picture on how quickly we can remove the reserves and execute everything. Um, but from our side, we're pretty much done. There's just a preference share to be allocated today, and then we just need the reserves. So just to give you that update, thanks very much.